The Battle of Fort Wagner, South Carolina, was a defeat for the Union Army, but a galvanizing victory for freedom. The flag bearer for the 54th Massachusetts Regiment was an escaped slave named William Carney. Carl Cruz is his great-great-grandnephew. When I think of, of what Sergeant Carney did and his fact that, that duty was so important, even, even at a time when the country did not feel that he was a man, that, that, that was really pretty powerful. Carney and hundreds of other African Americans enlisted in the 54th after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. The men of the Union's 1st Black Regiment went south to fight, knowing that if they were captured, they could be sold back into slavery. They saw it as an opportunity to show that they were the same kind of patriot as everyone else that was fighting for, for their country. In the battle, dramatized in the 1989 movie Glory, nearly half the 54 600 men were casualties. Even though they lost the battle, the 54th won everyone's respect because they proved that African Americans could be exemplary soldiers. Sarah Greeno is curator at the National Gallery of Art, which is preparing an exhibition about the regiment, including the first Medal of Honor ever awarded to an African American. And then here's Carney with his Medal of Honor. Although shot three times, Carney never let the colors fall. He said, boys, the old flag never touched the ground. Like everything else in the march toward equality, the medal was a long time coming. Carney did not receive his medal until 1900. He received it in the mail. It was sent to him um, um, to his home in the mail. Battles in 1863, the medal arrives in the mail in 1900. 37 years later. 150 years later, you can see the 54th place in the long arc toward justice. Where would you put the 54th Regiment in the history of the Civil Rights Movement? I put it right up front, like the march on Washington. Sergeant William Carney lies buried in his family plot in New Bedford, Massachusetts. His tombstone has been chipped away by souvenir hunters, but he is still right up front. David Martin, CBS News, New Bedford, Massachusetts.